Hello guys and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn how to perform calculation in a query in Microsoft Access 2016. Now, calculated fields are what are these? Now, these are special type of fields that help us to calculate the values from other fields. Now, let's take for an example that I have a database, a student database in which uh, in one column I have the student name and in other few columns I have the marks. So, a calculated uh, field will help me to calculate the total of all these particular subjects all together by building a mathematical expression. As you can see, to perform a calculation field, you must enter a mathematical expression which is made up of the field, the fields that you want to specify and it will also involve some mathematical symbols. So it is very simple to build a mathematical expression and to perform a mathematical calculation in a query. We will get a better understanding of uh, how to perform a calculated field in Microsoft Access in our practical approach. So in order to do that, I will move to this navigation pane and under this navigation pane from the query table, I will pull out this item which says uh, menu items ordered. So now out here, I have a query which says menu item ordered. Now out here, we have different fields altogether which says product type, product table, the sales unit and the quantity. Now if you can see there are random entries out here. Okay, so we have some repetitive entries as well. Now we are going to perform a calculation so that it helps me to calculate the total of quantity basically. So I would like to see that how many brownies has been ordered, how many carrot cake has been ordered and how many cheesecake has been ordered. So I will going to perform a calculation which help me to calculate the sum of quantity. So in order to do that, I will go to the view tab and under the view tab, I'll select design view. Now under the design view, you can see I have this uh, a particular fields that is product type, product name, product name as in the sales unit and the quantity. Now we will add a new group out here will say total which will help me to calculate the total. So I'll go to this design tab and under the de design tab, I will select this total menu. Uh, if you see here now a total group has been added. Now it has been saying group by group by but under the quantity field i will go to this group by menu and click on this drop down menu now if you can see i can perform all these calculations right we can calculate the average minimum maximum count and rest of the uh, operations but i'm more keen and focused on the sum so i'll say please select this sum calculation now let's go ahead and run this query and see whether this particular event has been occurred or not so i'll simply go on the result tab and simply select run now as you can see the field name has been changed to sum of quantity now it is giving me an understanding that uh, the product type that is cake has been the black forest cake has been ordered 12 times in this particular bakery similarly for walnut uh, the cake walnut has been ordered 10 times out here i have cake with cheesecake it has been ordered 21 times seems to be a very popular product so out here i can get an understanding of uh, my uh, bakery that basically how much product has been sell and which is the most popular product which the customer is giving an order back to back all right also the one thing which i like to share with you guys if i go down a little bit you can see the cupcakes for carrot have some repetitive entry out here. So if you can see that cupcake carrot has some repetitive entry, but in the sales unit, I have it as one dozen and single. So basically there's a difference that this will take this as a unique entry because the quantity is totally different. So basically cupcakes for carrot has been for single order. It has been ordered. 10 times but for one dozen it had been just ordered for one time so basically it is taking this as two separate entity altogether. all right guys so this is how you can perform a query calculation in microsoft access 2016 that's all for this video